I'd like to show you a neat feature of Google Classroom called the To Do page. This feature will help students and teachers identify which assignments need their attention. Let's go ahead and take a look at this sixth grade class right now. Now, currently I am signed in as a student. Okay, so student can go to the classwork page and they can scroll through the course. You can see it's fairly well organized. You see the topics, the assignments, but if a kid um, has a lot of assignments, it's hard to know where to focus their attention. Um, and that is why there is the to-do page. We're going to go over to the left side of the screen, top left, we're going to click on that hamburger up there at the top. And that's where you will see this page right here called to-do. This is going to provide a running list of all of the courses the student is currently assigned uh, in and the assignments that are due in those courses. Now, it could be a little overwhelming to see all of the classes at once. So let's go ahead and filter this to just that sixth grade class. And now we can get a, a really easy snapshot of what needs to be done and what can wait for later. So right away, we can see that there are two missing assignments. That's a common question. What, what is missing? What do I need to turn in? This will tell the student. And they can just click right on each of those assignments to actually go in, see the details, and complete them. Um, this is an assignment that's due coming up. And then you can see other assignments that are due later in the week or the month. Those can probably wait um, and be looked at at a different time. So this to-do page makes it really easy for students to understand where to focus uh, their attention. Uh, now, a couple of things you can do with this page. Uh, one option is print it. Uh, this page prints very well. If a, a student would benefit from having a hard copy of this that they can look at while they're working on their homework, you can print it out and they can check things off as they're done. Uh, you can also hand this to a parent. Uh, and the parent has a hard copy of, okay, here are the things that are outstanding. They don't have to log into the student's account in order to, uh, to see this. Works really, really well. So just hit the print button, print it out, and you've got a, a nice list. Now let's switch to the teacher view, and I'll show you how you can use this uh, feature as a teacher as well. So this is my uh, teacher account. I'm going to go uh, right here and let's go ahead and visit that to do page again same exact thing you're going to click on the hamburger and then scroll down to uh, to do now it looks a little different as a teacher because i can see the number of um, assignments that were assigned sent to the students and then the number that were turned in this gives me a good snapshot of uh, where the missing work is located and where I need to focus my grading efforts. Let me uh, look at this course right here. Um, so this first assignment right here tells me that uh, 185 students received it, 36 have turned it in. Now if I go down to the, the one below it, this one is a little bit different. I can see 151 uh, students received it. Uh, 25 have turned it in, and I have already graded 45 of them. This is what I really look for, is these two numbers here. Um, my goal is to find these and move them to this column. So I'm going to click on week four. I'm going to go in. I'm going to grade those 25 assignments, return them to the student. That will move them into the graded column. Um, anytime you see something that's turned in, uh, that's an indication that, you know, maybe it was late work. Um, students are working at their own self-paced um, speed, turning those in. We want to be focused on uh, that. That's a little bit easier than actually scanning through, scrolling through the classwork page uh, to find each of the individual assignments. When I'm ready, I'll go ahead and just click on turned in. That will take me right to the course, show me those turned in assignments, and I can begin grading. That's a quick look at the to-do page in Google Classroom and how you can use it as a teacher or a student.